Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R30, size 12. This is my Blue Damsel. So, we'll put some tine thread on, black tine thread. I'll just go back, not all the way, just where we want to attach the body. This is probably one of the simplest patterns to imitate because the features of it are so distinctive. The colour, the shape. So a blue dyed grizzle hackle. So we'll just put that there. Maybe just a couple of turns further back. See if that's the right length. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Just attach that. And you see a lot of patterns with foam and all kinds of things. Twisted, extended bodies, dyed, backing. But this dyed grizzle hackle is just absolutely perfect and there's no messing about with it you just tie it straight in so we we'll go back to where we've tied that in and then what we need is two medium done hackles long so I'll just pull some of those off still a bit too long and just tack that in there Good. It's the body and the wings. Get rid of these. And what we want is this is a blue sparkle yarn. So we just want to attach that. There, might go back a wee bit with the tine thread. Then we need a hackle. Same colour again as I used for the body, a dyed blue grizzle hackle. Tie that in there. Is. Go forward, ankle plier, and just wind on the ankle. off good take our blue antron or polygon or whatever you want to use and we just tie that in good we can trim that off before we put a whip finish in. I just want a little bit sticking over the edge like that. A whip 
finisher. I'll just give it one more around the top this time. And that's it. We can turn it upside down. What I actually do do is go in here and trim off the underside of the hackle. Just pull the legs out a wee bit like that. That's it. That's the blue adult damsel. Thanks for watching.